Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a speed build and today's speed build is going to be of a cafe but also um, next to the cafe there is a library so you can get a two in one but the, the lot type is a cafe and then you can also visit a library at the same time as getting a nice little little treat. I've been seeing um, a lot of these kind of like double builds or even like more on um, Twitter, people uploading pictures of their um, builds that are, you know, they've built like a a library and then a gym next to it, like weird things, like people are building more than one thing on a lot. Um, and I think that's a really nice, I thought it was a really nice idea. So I decided today that an easy uh, kind of build is a cafe and then adding a nice big library next to it so the cafe is actually pretty small um it just has you know your standard cafe stuff but i just also added like a computer in there as well just in case whoever's working wants to have a little look and then the library is actually uh three floors the first floor is mainly books and like seating and then the second floor there is um i think a two chess tables and some more seating and a lot of decorations and then the upstairs part of the library is where your sims can go and use the computers so there's computers upstairs and then more sitting seating areas and um books lots of books so many books uh so i didn't do this pack i didn't do this like on any specific packs i did base it on um I think it was get together because I think a lot of their items are really nice. Um, I think, and that's what you got the cafes with. I'm pretty sure. Um, so that is why I chose a lot of those items. And then I also used a few items from the debug just to do my um, decorating, which took a long time. I kept going. The, this video is quite bitty. I go back and forth between doing the cafe and doing the library, and then doing a bit of outside, then going back and doing the library again, and then going back to the cafe for a bit. It's a bit. It is a bit bitty, but it does does come together. So if you do place this lot, I do recommend you use the BB dot move objects on cheat purely because just some of the items may move around if you place it without that um i also if you're interested in how to use the debug items i always write down in the description um what cheats you need to write to get that um it's pretty simple you just need to use testing cheats on and then bb.show hidden objects and bb.show live edit objects um, I built this just before the new update, so um, which is really cool. I just had a quick little play with the new update, and I really love the um, photo frames can now go on to the tables and stuff. This is sort of stuff that we should have had like ages ago, probably, um, but it's something that is so pleasing. It's the little things in the game that I find super pleasing, so that kind of thing is definitely something I like um because I love having loads of pictures of like if I'm playing the sims having like the family that live in the house having lots of pictures around so it's nice having ones that you can prop on desks and tables and counters just think that's a really nice touch um but anyways back to this build so in the cafe I've just added um the desk there that obviously isn't usable in the sense of someone working there but I just thought it just added a nice touch of looking like you need to buy you know you have to use it to buy something and there's like a table there so that was like my mentality of that and I also added a sink because I thought if someone's working behind a counter um they might want to even wash their hands I don't know but yeah I also then cluttered up the back wall quite a bit with um a shelf unit with a lot of things that they might need to restock up on on the desks and then I also added this towel and paper towel dispenser just again for the person who's working there thought it'd be nice that they could you know dry their hands um and then I also add a menu board as well which I saw I move everything around but the 
this cafe bit didn't take very long at all to decorate um I think I was done doing this in like half an hour um it was just the library in the outside that was taking the longest time so that will probably be the longer part of the video um and like I said I think I said it in my previous video I have a collab going up on Monday um which I'm really excited I just edited that before this so that's ready to go um but I'm I'm kind of like running out of inspiration at the minute um I said it the other day I'm just feeling a little bit I don't know not deflated I just feel kind of a bit meh at the moment not because of like my channel or anything just because um I get like this when I have a lot of time off so um but I'm okay don't worry if you're listening to that and thinking oh my god um no I'm fine um I just have a lot going on as well like I have a lot of people that I'm like friends that I'm meeting up with and there's just a lot going on so if I don't upload um any videos with my schedule um sorry but I'm trying I'm trying to get them uploaded so this should be going up on Friday which is the 9th and then um I might not have a video on Sunday but I'm hoping to film something tomorrow but please don't hate me if I can't get the videos up um I'm kind of I mean I think I'm pushing it slightly uploading a lot of videos that many videos a week which is why I was doing a lot of tiny builds but maybe that maybe I should go back to doing a few more tiny builds because this took me nearly all evening and my mum was like are you coming down I was like no I'm busy um so yeah here I'm just decorating the like sitting space in the cafes just nice to you know have somewhere to sit um just added a few plant pots and the salt and pepper pots just just to add you know a little bit of decoration to the tables i think they look really nice um and then this outside bit i do make bigger um but i don't use those tables and chairs i put these ones i have like a walkway to the back area and there's a nice sitting area in the back kind of like a an outdoor park kind of place um and there's also like a swing set out the back um, I wanted to add in a grill, but I completely forgot. So if you want to add a grill, then add a grill. Um, but yeah, these tables, again, I I kind of sort these out as well. I'm not, not the biggest fan of what, what I was doing here. I, watching this back, I'm like, what were you trying to do? Like, that is a lot of tables and a lot of chairs. But in the end, I think it looked okay. Um, also, the picture in the thumbnail... I couldn't, every time I went to go in um, using a sit, like playing with a sim so I can get into tab mode to take a picture of like the front of it, every time it was raining in the game and I couldn't be bothered to, you know, I, I couldn't remember how to like cheat the weather, but it, oh my gosh, it was so irritating. So sorry that the thumbnail is so dark and gloomy and rain, but something different. Um, I just couldn't, it just wouldn't stop raining. Uh, this is also built in, where did I build this? Newcrest. Um, in the strip where there's like four lots next to each other. I always use that if I'm building, like, in my um, rebuild of the worlds. It's currently a place where there's like, oh, there's currently a cafe, a florist, then the library. And then I think I'm going to do a gym as well. Uh, I don't know what other one to do. Maybe a pool but the lots aren't that big but that's what that's that's what I've been doing with those areas um I'm trying to like talk a bit more in my videos I feel like I always rush and um try and get my talking done because I feel like no one wants to hear my voice but please let me know if you prefer that I also want to start doing another let's build but I'm not sure what I want to build just yet um maybe that's something maybe I could do a park because I quite like I liked creating parks um but yeah that's pretty much the cafes like inside and front done I didn't I have to go back to doing the bathroom because I completely forgot to add flooring but that does happen don't worry this build is complete um and then I'm now going to go on to decorating I think I start doing a bit of the outside and then I go to do the library so these walls here I really love um they're not like proper walls that you use in um fencing that you use on the menu these are from the debug menu which 
Um, I think they are from Get Together, which is why I chose them. Um, because it went kind of with the theme. But yeah, they are really nice. I really like them. I used them in my Hampton Court build. And I just think they look really cool. They add something a bit different than our regular fences that we have. And I also really love this tree, which is why I placed it twice. Because I thought it was super pretty. And it also looks really nice in autumn, which was when I play tested this. Um, and also these fences as well, which I think are from Get Together, are pretty cool. So I made that. So it looks like the um, library is a bit more a bit more put together and a bit more cornered off. So you have to use the walkways to, you know, get to get to where you need to be. Um, the library is annoying because it is a bit of a, like, it is a pretty much a, um, a block. So there wasn't really much I wanted to do with the roof and stuff with that. But yeah, here I just added one of the ponds as well from the debug. But I don't know if it's going to look like that. Please tell me if it is or if it isn't. Um, <laughs> kind of just looks like a mud pond at the minute. But maybe that changes when... Oh, I didn't look at that in when I went and played in this world. Because I stayed in the front bit to take pictures. Oh, how annoying. Um, but yeah, so this bit I'm just filling in with the um, pavement that I was using. Just because I thought it would be a nice like back patio area that connects so you can go through this little like back walkway and go sit outside back there and you there is also a swing set for children just in case you take families and the children you know start to get bored but that is that and I was really struggling with how to make this library look like you using the space well within not having to make it I just didn't want it I'm not making any sense right now. I didn't want it to look empty. So I used a lot of windows. And I know that... I find that really annoying sometimes. But I think it worked quite nicely. And I used a lot of um, greenery from... I think it's from Vampires. The stuff that you can put up the walls. Um, I used a lot of that to try and cover up bits as well. Just to make it look a bit more... A bit older and a bit more used. And like it's been there for quite a while. Um, I really love these windows from Get Together. I've used them in a few builds now recently. And yeah, I do. I really like them. Um, and then just with this side as well, just did the same thing with the windows. But the middle part, I could only really add the two because I just didn't think it looked right uh, having that bit come together. And then here I'm just trying to do like a weird style roof just to get a bit of something going on at the top just because I thought it was a bit boring just you know being flat so I'm just creating that sort of style roof and then um I think I go to decorate the outside like I was saying with all of the vampire stuff if you um have any tips for any other different styles of roofing that would look nice with this because I don't know I just think this looked all right and I was quite happy with it so I just kept it like that um, also with the inside of the library I kind of made the space like I gave myself less space to work with just because I gave myself a bigger staircase and then um, gave it kind of an open fencing so you can see above and under is that if that makes sense you'll see what I mean but um, I don't usually do that with my staircases, but it it looked a lot nicer, I thought, than just having the staircase and the fence going round. It just took up a bit of the space by doing that, and then I didn't need to fill it with any more furniture because, I mean, it is a pretty big building for a library. Um, I don't think I needed to have it as three floors, but I just think it looked a bit, a bit different compared to the cafe next to it. It was kind of like an old-style library um with this like cute cafe next to it that was the kind of vibe i was going for hopefully you enjoy it um and again please do comment down below if you have any I ideas that you want me to build because i have been really enjoying the comments i've been receiving um also send me a tweet on twitter i am my twitter username is lauren simsey and then I've also changed my gallery ID now, so it's not Lauren Tilly 23 anymore, it's now Lauren Simsey. Um, 
all spelt the same as on here and on Twitter. So um, should everything should be easier to find now because that was a bit annoying. That was annoying me. So I can't imagine if people were, if anyone was trying to find my builds, that would be quite irritating. So this is what I was talking about with the fencing. Um, I haven't done this in ages, so I forgot how to do it. And I forgot you need to link, connect the... Um, what's it called fencing together to then so it makes its own fake room and then you can delete it but then I was having problems with this bit it it came together in the end I was just having a bit of a mind blank um that, that happens sometimes with me so I just got a bit of foundation like flat decking like this and just filled it in that way which is ridiculous I know but that's what I meant like so it has a bit more of an open space um around because a lot of libraries do have that and do you know what i would have loved um if we had spiral staircases and like ladder style staircases because then i could have done so much more like different like library styles um within it but i just had to do the straight straight boring staircases that just go up um which is really annoying i feel like after all these like patch updates that we've been having surely by now we would be able to get lemon spiral staircases or ladders so look like that time i remembered what i had to do so it didn't take as long but yeah i feel like i'm not the only one that's probably annoyed about i feel like everyone's annoyed about stairs in the sims um the only thing i'm not interested in in the sims if i'm now going on a rant now is um cars i just don't think there is a need for them when we don't have open worlds i feel like in the sims 3 they were really useful purely because you had open worlds so you could use them to get from a to b but here i just think they're a bit useless i think what would be more useful would be like bikes and scooters so that you can get to the parts of the world that are open so you know you get like certain bits of the lots that you can get to around without having a loading screen i feel like if you had a bike how useful would that be or a scooter for your child i think that would be amazing and again like in the sims 3 push chairs for your babies i that is just something that is needed in my eyes i just don't think cars are necessary i like the decorative like the decorative cars that we've had in the debug but anything other than that i just think it's not necessary that is a really unpopular opinion but it it's not necessary um but yeah that's my little mini rant over with um i also haven't spoken about the new moschino stuff pack i used to think it was called machino but i've been proven wrong i think from watching other people's videos i'm just a little bit miffed about the whole photography career thing because surely when the photography skill came into it that's when that kind of career should have become an actual thing i don't know i just feel like i'm probably being really naggy but it does look cool like the stuff looks cool like a lot of the build buy items look cool um there's a lot of stuff that does interest me but then there's a lot of stuff that i just find is a bit meh like just find why wouldn't that have been in something before if that makes sense. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. <laughs> I feel like I I have decided to talk in my videos more and this is where it's got me. I'm now eight, 19 minutes into the video and just rambling on about a load of stuff. So if you enjoyed my rambling, please give it a like. Um, hit the subscribe button if you are new because we like new people on this channel. I love new people on this channel. Um, the more the merrier and uh, write me any comments if there is anything you want to talk about um i always reply so i'm always there in in the comments reading and um enjoying what you say because it does mean a lot to me so yeah i'm gonna leave it here um if you did enjoy this yeah please give it a like like i said and this will be on the gallery now so it is available to download if you want to and like i said always place using bb dot move objects on and that's all from me and i'll see you in the next video bye